Hello and welcome back. Last episode, Jade was the first of our finalists to be voted off. Who will be the next to join him? Find out today, right here on Night Raven. After 21 episodes, several fights, lots of stressful situations, we are finally to this point. 4 out of 22 remain. Half of the remaining campers had been eliminated themselves. What a twist. Now, let's take a look and see how everyone is doing. Our alliances have had stronger ties, but they've also been significantly weaker. Our closest friendship remaining is that between Nigeria and Deuce. Jamil's relationships with Deuce and Azul are also not negative ones. Deuce and Azul don't particularly care for each other, and neither do Jamil and Igea. Probably the quickest we've gone through that. You know what comes next though. Today's challenge. After waking up in the middle of a forest, campers are informed by Chef Hatchet that, in pairs, they must navigate their way north, back to camp. Before they begin, each pair is given a bag containing everything they'll need, except food. The first pair to find their way back to camp and touch the totem pole wins invincibility. Our pairs are, Igeo and Jamil, and Azul and Deuce. Deuce, could I ask you a question? Uh, sure. How have you lasted this long? The only thing you've done is worship the ground Malleus walks on, and Malleus has been off the show for a while now. How have you managed? Oh, look I guess? I haven't had the need to play the same game the rest of you do, I may not be the smartest, but I've heard you all whispering. I've seen the way some of you sneak around since day one. I know what goes on without the cameras. And what game would that be? Idiot, if we don't start moving, we're never gonna catch up. I don't care. Get up and move. Leave me here. Quit sulking and do something. Just go, damn it. You are not going to be the reason I lose. I don't give a damn who wins anymore. I just do not care. Go on without me if you want to win that bad. We both have to touch the pole. So if I have to drag your ass all the way back to camp, I will. Now get. Up. No. Fuck it. If Azul and Jade can get away with it. Snake Whisper. The winners of today's challenge and invincibility are... Azul and Deuce. The moment you've been waiting for. The campfire ceremony. The first marshmallow goes to her. Deuce. The second marshmallow goes to her. Azul. The third marshmallow goes to her. Jamil. Idea has been eliminated. Brother? I'm sorry. I didn't. I didn't mean to. I'm so sorry. It's okay, come here or though. Presenting a cast member of the new hit TV show, Royal Terrace House, here is a message from Nige Leglanche. Hey everyone! We hope you are enjoying this broadcast performance, and if you are, consider subscribing to Ash Down Baby for more content, and sharing your favorite videos with your friends. I hope you'll cheer for everyone at Night Ribbon Island as well as the upcoming hit show, Royal Terrace House. I hope to see you there. This commercial has been brought to you by Verida, links to her socials will be in the description. Now, on to some more Night Raven Island. Hello, welcome back. Last episode, Igea's long run finally ended. I think all of us expected it way sooner, but he really impressed us all. Who will be the next to join the eliminated? Find out right now, only on Night Raven. Island. My oh my, who expected that the returned players would outnumber those who had never been eliminated? I certainly didn't. Only one alliance remains. And no matter what, this is the last day we will see alliances. Deuce doesn't particularly care for Jamil, or Azul. Jamil and Azul are on okay terms. Now, time for... Today's challenge. Today, we turn to the eliminated campers to help us out. In this challenge, each camper will take turns spinning a bottle that is attached to a board. Whichever eliminated camper's face the bottle stops on determines the dare the camper will perform. If the camper takes their dare, they win a get out of dare freebie. 
The camper can also inflict the dare onto another camper with the goal of eliminating them. But if the dared camper has a freebie, they can use it. At any time, campers can give each other freebies if they choose to go. If a camper refuses to do a dare, they will be automatically eliminated from the challenge and the contest. Deuce gets his first dare from Riddle. He has to dump a tray of ice into his underwear and let it melt, and successfully does so. Jamil gets his first dare from Callum. Callum dares him to cover his front in bees. Jamil passes the dare to Azul, and Azul completes it. Azul gets his first official dare from Vil, who dares him to wear a baby outfit. Azul passes it to Deuce, who uses his freebie. Deuce gets his second dare from Trey, who dares him to wear a bee beard. Deuce passes the dare to Azul, who successfully completes the dare. Jamil gets his second dare from Kata, who dares him to kiss a dead fish. Jamil passes it to Deuce, who completes the dare. Azul's second dare is from Jack, who dares him to stuff several eggs in his mouth. Azul successfully completes the dare. Deuce's third dare is from Leona, who dares him to drink fruit punch from the communal toilet. Deuce passes the dare to Jamil, who completes it. Jamil's third dare comes from Ruggy, who dares him to have his head shaved by Chef Hatchet. Jamil passes the dare to Deuce. Deuce refuses, and is eliminated. We will be back with the final episode of Night Raven Island after the break. Hello, this isn't a commercial. It's a thank you. When I started posting these stupid little videos, I had 78 subscribers, all dead channels from back in the glory days when people were mutuals on YouTube Lameo, and now here I am. You all really do mean a lot to me, I wouldn't have the motivation I do to try to make these videos. I'm not the greatest editor, I don't have a consistent schedule after Ashmas, but I have y'all. So, thank you, I think I've rambled long enough. So let's jump back into what you're here for Lameo. Well, this is it. The final episode of Night Raven Island. The moment that I'm doing fine. You guys are on my mind. You asked me what I wanted to be, and now I think the answer is plain to see. Who would have thought that the final fight for the crown would be between the two returned players? I don't think anybody did. Before the challenge begins, we have a surprise. All the players previously eliminated have been brought back. They will pick a side to cheer for. No pressure or anything to Azul and Jamil. Rooting for Azul, we have Deuce, Epple, Igea, Callum, Leona, Lilia, Ortho, Ribble, Sebek, Silver, and Trey. Rooting for Jamil is Ace. Kata, Floyd, Jack, Jake, Malias, Rook, Ruggy, and Vil. Now, let's get started. The final two players must compete in three parts which were supposedly pitched to the Olympic Committee but rejected as an Olympic sport. One camper must wear a chicken hat, while the other must wear a cow hat. First, campers must run to the first location and shimmy up a pole to retrieve a flag. Then. They must cross a 300 meter balance beam suspended across a massive gorge, with man-eating, freshwater sharks below, while carrying an eagle egg. Finally, once across, it is a long distance run to the finish. Along the way, the cheering campers can help who they are rooting for. The first camper to reach the finish wins total drama island and 100,000 Thor marks. Our finalists are ready, Azul will wear the chicken hat, and Jamil the cow hat. And so, the challenge begins. 
Azul is the first to successfully retrieve the flag. He also makes it across the bridge first. Jamil retrieves the flag, and makes it across the bridge. Jamil is quickly catching up. They are almost there. In a near photo finish, the winner of Night Raven Island is... Wait, wait, wait. Hey, it's me again. Before we tell you who won, only 9.6% of our watchers are subscribed. It really helps us out, so please make sure you're subscribed. Are you done? Yeah, think so. Now, as I was saying, the winner of Night Raven Island is Azul Asham Grotto. Azul can make a choice. He can either take the 100,000 Thor marks for himself, or he can give all 22 campers a chance to compete for 1 million Thor marks. Azul, what will you do? Hmm, go big or go home, right? Nothing in my way, I'll get there one day